welcome. May you find God's love, peace, grace, and joy as we worship today. Good morning. Um, this, can you hear me? Oh. This being the second Sunday in Advent, our theme is God meets us in our fear. And the poem today is by Reverend Sarah Speed, whom I adore. I adore. Um, no. Hold it closer. Oh, God, thank you. Okay, not used to this. Okay, but Sarah Speed, she writes, if you shut your eyes, you can just visualize exactly what she is writing, which I just love. So anyway, the title of our poem today is Love Comes Running. It's on the front of your bulletin. I remember the first time I was afraid. I was a child, and it was a nightmare. You remember those pesky monsters under the bed? I remember minutes felt like hours. I begged the sun to rise. Fear always begs the sun to rise. Eventually, after minutes that felt like hours, I cried out. My dad came running. He sat at the edge of my bed. He said, there is no reason to be afraid. He checked the closet. He checked the floorboards. He rearranged my pillows. He said, I can stay. And and God will be with us tomorrow. Even now, God is on the way. Amen.
family of faith, even when we forget God's words, God does not forget us. Even when we lose our way, God does not lose us. Even when we fall short or make mistakes, God forgives us and holds on to us. We are known, forgiven, and loved. Thanks be to God. Amen. shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And on that day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. We have been using these wonderful resources through Advent. Uh,
says, all right, here I am. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. But for many of us, I think there are plenty of places in our lives where we are all too familiar with fear whether it's a diagnosis, that remains pretty consistent no matter <laughs> what feelings we're going through in that moment. And the part of this text that stuck with me this week was the explanation the angel gives for how God will make the impossible seem or be possible. The angel says that the Holy Spirit will overshadow you, will come over you. If you look at the, it's a painting, I guess, kind of a collage <laughs> in, the, uh, in the bulletin, the, the picture of the Annunciation there. There is this golden globe right in the center of the painting. to share and give and love. Here with us. That you will abide with us. And even when we think that you are absent, even when we turn away, you come running.
Gracious and loving God, and we thank you for It's been a place where people have come to sit together, to be nourished together in the very love of God that we have spoken about, the very presence of God in their lives. It has been a place the Lord our God. Please pray with me. to show us that we all were forgiven, that we are all called. of your fire. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.